Show up to a Seahawks Super Bowl victory parade decked out in 49ers gear, and you're bound to get some booze. That's exactly what happened to a gutsy San Francisco fan on Wednesday, but the story does not end there. King 5's Heather Graff is live at CenturyLink Field to explain. Well, photos of that fan outside the stadium during the parade almost instantly went viral, catching the attention of folks in San Francisco and in Seattle, and now bringing them together to help a teenager in need. A super-sized welcome home party for our Super Bowl champions. It's like the best parade ever. But amidst the sea of Seahawks fans on Wednesday, something stood out. The first shot I saw was of the parade, um, and then there's one Niner fan amongst a sea of blue and green. Stun 12 started snapping pictures of the 49er faithful who almost looked lost. One even shot this video of the red and gold clad fan getting booed as he made his way through the crowd. It was all over Facebook and all over Twitter. And as Catherine Tate told us on Friday via Skype, the images quickly made their way to California. Oh, I know what I want to show you guys. We first met Catherine when King 5 traveled to San Francisco in the days leading up to the NFC Championship. And she contacted us after the parade in hopes of tracking down this brave member of Niner Nation who showed up at Seattle's victory celebration. So I said, I'm going to give him one of my seats. I have front row seats on the 50-yard line in the new stadium, which, you know, there's only make eight, 500 of those on the home side. But it turns out he needs much more than tickets to a game. He's 15. Um, he is a ward of the state and is homeless, essentially. He lives in shelters. Now, the GoFundMe account Catherine initially created to pay for the boys' trip to San Francisco is bringing in donations from both sides of this NFC rivalry. Donations intended to pay for counseling, college, shelter, and stability. We're humans. We're all people. This is bigger than football. A cause worth cheering for. He belongs to us, but he also belongs to you. In Seattle, in San Francisco, and beyond. Now, since he is a minor, we've chosen not to use that fan's name, but we're told that he's a good kid who has had a tough life, but he goes to school every day in Tequila, ready to work and ready to learn. To learn more about him or how to help, just look for this story on our website. That's king5.com. We are live tonight from CenturyLink Fields. Heather Graff, King 5.